The Prince of Wales placed a reassuring hand on the Princess of Wales' back as they paid their respects to the Queen following a service at Westminster Hall. Kate appeared very emotional at the moving service, during which Prince William and Prince Harry also stood side by side. In one clip, Kate, standing in front of Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, looks close to tears. The Princess of Wales and an Duchess of Sussex were also seen curtsying towards the Queen's coffin during her final journey ahead of her funeral on Monday, September 19. This afternoon, the late monarch left Buckingham Palace for the final time, with the King and the royal family walking behind her coffin in procession to the lying in state. The Queen's coffin will lie in state at Westminster Hall until Monday. Her Majesty's family marched behind her coffin as it was carried to Westminster Hall, with thousands of Brits lining the route in the heart of the capital. Prince William placed a hand on Kate's back, image, PA, Kate and William attended the service this afternoon, image, Getty, Kate and Meghan struggle with emotion as they support princes at Queen's lying in state Meghan Markle and Kate. The Princess of Wales, were seen next to one other at Westminster Hall for a service as the Queen's coffin arrived. Kate appeared emotional during the service, while Meghan stood stoically beside her. Read more here. Kate did not join the procession but left for Westminster Palace by car, followed by another vehicle that carried the Duchess of Sussex and the Countess of Wessex. King Charles III walked in line with his siblings. Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. Behind the king were the Queen's grandsons, Peter Phillips, Prince Harry and Prince William, who were followed by the late monarch's son-in-law Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, the Duke of Gloucester, the Queen's cousin, and her nephew the Earl of Snowdon. At the service, William and Harry stood together with their wives, Kate and Meghan Markle. Read more, for God's sake let Harry wear his uniform, has earned the right Meghan and Harry stood directly behind Kate and William, image, Getty, the Queen now lies in state at Westminster Hall, image, Getty, the Sussexes stood at the back of the group of royals, with Harry and Meghan behind Kate and William as the couples were seen together for the first time since their surprise appearance at Windsor Castle on Saturday. The Archbishop of Canterbury then read the opening prayer, which the King led the royals in reciting. The family stood silently for the short service that the late monarch had put together with the Church of England before she died aged 96. After the congregation was dismissed, cries of God save the King were heard as the King and Queen consort left Westminster Hall as Big Ben rang out at 3. 30 p.m., Prince William and Kate left the building side by side, with the Princess of Wales seen rubbing her husband's arm reassuringly. Don't miss royal mourners pour in to pay respects to Queen at Westminster Hall, pictures Prince Harry looks down as he passes Senate F, insight paramedics swoop in as royal mourner collapses at coffin procession, video, the Prince of Wales offered support to his wife, image, Getty, trending mourners are now able to queue to pay tribute to the Queen before the state funeral on Monday, which has been declared a bank holiday by the Queen. Prince Harry and Meghan were seen leaving hand in hand, with the Duke of Sussex wearing a mourning suit after Ben Bard from wearing military uniform. Kate travelled with Camilla, the Queen consort, to the service while King Charles and William walked behind the coffin. The Princess travelled in the first limousine behind the coffin, followed by the Duchess of Sussex and the Countess of Wessex. The couple left the ceremony together in a car. Thousands of people lined the route but there was silence as the coffin appeared. The Queen's coffin was draped with the royal standard and the imperial state crown on a purple velvet cushion with a wreath of white flowers, 